I'm Christy Hartman. I'm here to do some gel printing for you today. This is a little demonstration using my 8 by 10 inch Jelly Arts jelly plate, a number of stencils, which I'll have names for most of them, and some Deco Art acrylic paint. My gel plate comes with in this clamshell with a piece of mylar on either side. It's a very soft forgiving material. Be careful when you're gel printing on it that you don't use anything terribly sharp on it because it, you can damage it. When you store it, put your two pieces of mylar back on either side, put it back into your clamshell, and store it flat. At the end of the video I'm going to show you how to clean your gel plate too. We're going to do some printing first of all with some shades of blue with DecoArt Americana paint. First we're going to start with some Whispering Turquoise. Notice that I still had some pattern left on my gel plate from a previous printing activity. I'm going to print on computer paper and I just picked up what little bit of pattern was left on the gel plate and I was able to pull it up using just that Whispering Turquoise. Now we're using Indian Turquoise. We're bringing out our Indian Turquoise. We're using this Crafter's Workshop stencil, which is called Circle Explosion. It does have a number, TCW278, for those of you that are interested. Look at how pretty that is. I really like those blue dots on there. We're going to pull it off. We're going to use some of that negative image to pick up on the edges of our print, as I'd like to have as much of this print covered as I can possibly get. So we're actually going to use this, pro this blue piece for a project that's coming up. Not in this video, however. Um, trying to use, I'm trying to fit this paper and use as much of this real estate on my gel plate as I can possibly get. And you can see I've kind of finished up those edges. This is Aqua Sky. We're going to use Aqua Sky with a Stencil Girl stencil, which is called Spider Web. L081 is the number. Stencil Girl is another great stencil company that you should really consider looking at if you're interested in doing this type of gel printing or just working with them in general. We are now using, again, turquoise blue. And we're going to use another Crafters Workshop stencil called Punchinella. And this is a 12 by 12 inch stencil. Its number is TCW219. We're going to add some of an interesting pattern to the top of this because when I used the last stencil, I didn't like how I got rid of all of my dots and circles that were on there. And you're going to see that we pull it up rather nicely. And this is another great stencil. And I'm happier with that this time. Now we have the negative image left. We're going to use that negative image to be pulled up in our next pulls that we use with our paper. We're going to use this, uh, is this Calypso Blue, I believe? I believe so. Bring it out into a nice thin coat. We're going to use that Crafters Workshop Stencil Punchinella again. This is another stencil that I use a lot. And we're just going to add some additional printing to the sides of the print that we didn't pick up previously. I wanted to show you this time how to use computer paper to print with. Most of the time I would say I usually print on deli paper, but I really wanted you to see how computer paper works just as well. The only difference is that with a piece of deli paper, you actually can position your paper easily because it's semi-transparent. But computer paper works just as well. And I'm going to do a, use another print just to pick up any remaining paint 
that's left in that stencil. Picked up some of the paint. Now we have some of that paint left over that I'm just going to use on a deli paper print. And I'm going to put it on two different sides of my deli paper, just kind of overlapping my prints to get as much of that pattern off of my gel plate as I possibly can. I'm even going to use my brayer to kind of push that paper down into that paint so it adheres. And I pull off as much as I possibly can. I like to leave a little bit left on my gel plate because I like the pattern that it shows when you pull it up in your next pull, but I also like to use whatever was remaining. We're going to use some Snow White and we're going to use that as a cleanup print to clean up everything that we have on our gel plate at present. we have another print. Now we're using sapphire. And we're going to use another um, Crafters Workshop stencil which is called Pebbles. It's number TCW190 if you're interested. Most of these stencils are still available either online or um, well online mostly I would believe that you can get these stencils. I did Google them. I found them on a combination of Amazon and various other locations. Now look at what I have left on my plate. I think that is going to be beautiful. I'm going to use a piece of deli paper and I'm going to just try to pull up any remaining pattern that's left on that piece of deli paper. I'm going to go back to that turquoise color. I think this is aqua sky. I'm going to use that stencil girl stencil. And what I'm actually, my goal is here is not necessarily to get the positive image that I'm pulling off right now, but my goal is to grab the negative image that's left after I pull this print. And I want you to see what happens when I add sapphire blue after I pull this stencil off and I have my negative image left. Brayer out that sapphire and watch the magic happen. This is one of those happy accidents that occurs and you're usually just thrilled about it. At least I was. And I love that print. I don't know how I'm going to use it, but I'm going to use it one of these days. All right, we're going to change colors. We're going to use shades of yellow and oranges. Still using the 8 by 10 inch jelly plate. Notice how clean my plate is now. I did actually clean it in between printing sessions this time. We're starting with cad orange, or excuse me, cad yellow. This is that circle explosion stencil again. This is another stencil that I use frequently. And I'm just using my deli paper and I'm just picking up that yellow onto my deli paper. And of course have the negative image left, so I'm going to just pick up as much of that as I can. Can't always pick up all of it, but I like to pick up some of it. Actually did pick up quite a bit of it that time, so now I have two great starter prints. This I believe is Tangerine Circle Explosion again. This Circle Explosion actually comes in a 6x6 six six inch size stencil as well. I find that if it's a stencil I like really well as a 12 by 12, 
I purchase it as a 6x6 as well because if I like it as a big stencil, I usually like it as a smaller stencil. I'm going to clean up my gel plate by pulling up the negative image on some of those areas that I have nothing printed on. Still using deli paper. So now you've seen how I use both deli paper and computer paper to print with my gel plate. Jack-o-lantern orange, which is a semi-transparent color. And so when you pull this jack-o-lantern orange up, it really is lovely. I'm using another stencil, which is a favorite of mine, and this is called Circle Circles. This is a stencil girl stencil. The number is L301. If you do not own this stencil, I would recommend it highly. I love this stencil. I use it a lot. And again, these yellow and orange papers are going to be used in a project that you're going to find in the convention as a make and take. Okay, time to use some green. We're using shades of green. Um, I don't use all of these colors in this print, but I did like the avocado. The avocado printed up beautifully, and I used, I really liked both the positive and the negative image. The stencil you're going to see here is a Donna Downey stencil, and I think it was called Boulders. I, I don't think you can get this stencil any longer. Um, I love it. I actually use it a lot. However, there are lots and lots of stencils out there that are very similar to this, and they're, I think Lori Speltz has one. Um, I know Stencil Girl has something that's similar. The Crafters Workshop probably has something very similar as well. You can find stencils that are very similar all around. I'm gonna pick up the negative image using that avocado. And again, I just thought it was gorgeous. Using avocado again. And I'm going to layer the same color one over the top of the other. And I actually get a beautiful effect. I really liked it. Especially on this when I had the negative image. There we go. Just continuing to print with that avocado. I like the tone on tone effect that you got with it. Beautiful again, picking up a little bit more. Now this time I'm using Hauser dark green. I want a little pop of a dark green. Using that stencil from Crafters Workshop called Pebbles. And I'm just gonna pick up on the entire print just a pop of a dark color. And I love the two combined. I think this is olive green. I thought I needed a lighter color. I'm using that circle explosion and I'm going to see what I can pick up right on top of that green. All right, let's clean our gel plate up. You can clean your gel plate in many, many ways. I, most of the time I don't clean mine, but I did want to show you how you can clean your jelly plate with baby wipes. These are just basic baby wipes that I got at Walmart. And frequently you'll get those crusty edges that show up on the edges of your gel plate. And sometimes I like them, they show up unexpectedly in your prints. Sometimes you wanna get rid of them and this is an easy way to do a quick cleanup. I'm also cleaning my brayer with this baby wipe, although I can also clean my brayer with just soap and water as I can my entire gel plate. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you in my make and take.